Hey folks, it's Frithgar here. How you doing? Welcome back to the long dark. So what we need to do is we need to keep working on getting some food into the fridge. Now I have actually just picked up some food which I need to cook. We are um, getting later in the day at the moment. Well, it's just gone past midday, but I would like to wait a little bit before I go adventuring off further afield. We know that we've got a supply cache over there that we can go and get by St. Christopher's Church. We fought a wolf last time. We fought a wolf right here, and the wolf did eventually die. We're okay. There's a short... Excuse me. There's a shortwave tower up there. We've already been up there and seen that one, but we can go along the road here. We can go to the gas station where we should be able to find some more supplies. So we've got some options available to us. What I want to do at the moment is I just want to pick up that um, cooking pot right there. And then I want to go food. And we've got this gamey wolf meat. We've got quite a bit of this. I want to pop a couple of these down here. Like this. Put that one down there as well. And then I want to wait until these are cooked. So I'm just going to go like that. Pass time until it's ready. And then I'm... Oops, I didn't mean to eat that one. Okay, well, I'll, I'll eat one of them. And then I'll go here. And I'll pop you down there. So you there. I'm now going to pass time until this one's ready. And basically all I'm going to do is I'm going to go through and I'm going to cook all of these. Take that one. Another 800 calories. But what I can also do is I can just check my clothing in that. So we've got a load of paper there. That's not going to do us much good. Uh, we've got in here, we've got these accessories. So that's new. Mackenzie's pants are an 81%. We did take a bit of damage from the wolf. So I just want to check the condition of all of our clothes and see how they're looking at the moment. Is whether or not we wanted to run any repairs. So that one's on 81% and that one's also on 81%. So I'm just going to repair that one, I think. Actions right there, 19% repairs. 25 minutes to repair that one. Using up a bit of the sewing kit. That's, again, that's, that's going to that's gonna be all right for us, I think. That'll be fine. So those are now repaired. I won't worry about repairing anymore. That's doing just fine there. 25. All right, well, if I do that one there... Pass time till that one's ready. Then I can pick both of these up. So take you. And inedible burned. I thought it took ages to be till it went burned. Oh, back. I thought Honestly, I thought it took ages. Okay, I'm not quite sure why that took so long. Uh, why it went wrong. I, I, I definitely made a mistake there. Uh, let me go to food there. So the inedible burn stuff, has, I think that's just been moved. It's gone. Right, well, at least I don't have to worry about that one. Right, well, as it's gone, we won't worry about it. I've got an hour left. I do want to go there. What have we got? 60, 50, 70. That's 100% on there. Back. What about you? What have you got? The tin of sardines. That'll make me thirsty. I'm not going to eat these two. Let me just go to this one and I'll have one of these. Uh, that one right there. We drink that one down. Like that. And then I will go with water. We're carrying two litres of water around. So I will have a full drink there. Now we've got that bit. And then I'll go to you and pass time until it's ready. You're all done. Oh. So it's got 40 minutes until it's... I just missed where it said be, that it would be burned. That's all. I, I overlooked that little bit, which was... That was my bad. That was my mistake, that was. Um, let's have a look in here. So I'm going to drop the wolf... I'm going to put the wolf meat in here. Like that. So we've got the wolf meat in there. I've got some sardines in there. I'm not going to put any more in. That's all we'll do for a second. So we've now got 4,800 calories in there. What have we got in the freezer? That one's empty. Now, somebody said that outside, you can't actually take anything out of the wood box. Once you put the stuff in there, that's it. That's hers. And you can't use it again. So I just want to double check this because apparently it's the same with the fridge. We've got no wolves out here at the moment. So let's go to the firewood bin. There. That one. Oh, no, I can't. I cannot. I cannot. I cannot take them. I went and stuck a load of extra stuff in here because I thought, oh, wait a minute. 
I can take those out. Those I can take out. I just can't remove any of this. None of the firewood. So let's not put anything else in there. We won't store anything else in that one at all. We'll, we'll keep hold of the rest. And that's now done. We've done we've done our cooking. I'm not carrying anything that's going to uh, smell or anything like that. Um, I don't think there's anything else at all I want to do for a minute. So let's go to bed. And we're going to go for a full 12 hours sleep. Actually, no. Before I do that, I'm going to go back into here and go food and the new beef jerky. I'm going to eat that. I'm going to eat all the food that we got. I'll eat that and I'll also eat the sardines. And we'll go and we will drink one of these. The 64% one. The water has gone right up to maximum. That's fine. So now we'll go 12 hours sleep. We get a, a full night's rest. We'll fully rest ourselves, but we're gonna, we'll still wake up thirsty. We're, we're still going to wake up really thirsty, and we're going to need more. Go on, then. Oh, okay, we haven't. We, sh we are fully, completely, 100% rested now. That's good. Sounds cold out there. Drink. We'll drink that. That sounds like we've got a little bit of a storm going on out there. I didn't want to have a storm going on outside. And we'll also have the 1.8 litres of water... We'll drink some of that. I've yet to get a storm lantern. I've yet to get a lantern that we can use that would actually be useful. So we've got a stove in here that we could do cooking on. I don't have any storage in here really, do I? I've got, I suppose I've got the freezer. I can store 20 kilos of stuff in the freezer. But can I actually store it? I got 24 kilos right there. I'm carrying three liters of this around. I'm gonna no items of this type, so I can put that one in and that one. I'm just gonna do that, and then I'm gonna go back here and I'm gonna see if I can. Right, I can take it out. That's okay. So I can pop you in there, and then we can start having a little look through. So like the jerry can here, 3.6 liters of that. I've got more fuel there. That lantern fuel there. That one masses of fuel in that one I won't take any more so then we've got food we've got these th got three recycled cans I'll, I'll leave two of them out simple tools I'll keep hold of those the rocks we keep hold of them we're down to 19 kilos right we keep the rest of those clothing is there anything else I could have stripped apart some of those socks during the night which I chose not to do this, I See, I've got this stuff. I've got coal right there. It's not taking up a massive amount of space. I will drop the coal down. I'll let go of that. And also those tin, tinder plugs. Transfer all. Just do it like that. Uh, accelerant. Two of them. I'll keep one of those on me. I haven't got... I mean, I haven't got very much fuel anyway. I'm, I am running a bit low on fuel here. We're going to have to be careful with that. Oh, right, now this. So we've got scrap metal there. I've got a kilo of that. I've got rose hips here. I've got half a kilo of rose hips. Let's get all of them in. The leather is another half a kilo. And the cloth right there is 0.7 kilos. So I'm going to dump all of that in the freezer. There. I'm hoping that I'll be able to get the stuff back out of that freezer. Let's go. The next plan is to go up the road to the garage. It's a bit stormy today. So we want to go from here. We want to go through the town and we want to go up this way. And I want to get to that one. There is a house over there that we haven't yet explored. But I'm going to leave that one. I'm just going to hope that I can go this way. And I can make it through. I'd like to get a storm lantern. I've searched every house in the village. To no avail. In town, village, whatever you want to call it. Didn't seem to be anything there. Uh, we've got the wind pushing us along at the moment, which is not too bad. That's, that's pretty good. I'm guessing this... Is this actually a storm? I'm guessing this is a storm. thought I heard what sounded like wolves. I'm going to sit in here a minute. 
It's still freezing cold. Search glove box. I haven't searched this car. I don't know if that's a wolf I can hear. Or if it's a... Um, yeah, I, I, I genuinely don't know if I can hear a wolf. Sounds like a, a dog playing. Um, which makes me think that maybe it is a wolf. I'm kind of hoping it's not, though. Really hoping it's not. For those of you who are unaware, uh, if you've only watched this series, I'm going to do shorter episodes this week. I've done quite a lot of extra stuff. Uh, let's say extra stuff. I've, I've got a load of extra stuff that I need to do. Um, I don't have time, unfortunately, to do all of my normal episodes because of Christmas and stuff. Uh, so what I'm actually planning to do is I'm going to be doing shorter episodes than normal. I normally aim feel to do between 40 and 50 minutes in an episode. However... What I'm going to be doing this week is I'm going to be doing around about 30 minutes. There's people in here. When I say people, there's a person. Your people, Methuselah. Your people. Well, another stranger. Have you escaped the town? Escaped the town? No, I just arrived. Not a refugee from the highways, then. You look weary, traveler. Come, warm yourself by the fire. Who are you? I'm nobody. But you can call me Methuselah. I'm here to witness the passing of an age. What do you mean, the passing? Don't you see the signs? Um, sort of. Any idea why all the cars are stalled and left behind? They all stopped running. People abandoned them. Nothing but metal coffins now. You always this cheerful. <laughs> My heart weeps for you, stranger. My days are nearly finished. But you'll have to live with what remains. Um, okay, let's try that. You seem oddly familiar, old man. Is that right? Yeah. And this whole place feels strange and empty. The quakes changed everything here years ago. Great Bear's back was broken, and it's been laid low ever since. Then what are you still doing here? Aren't we here to witness an apocalypse of an apocalypse, you and I? No one thought the world would end this way. But how could they not have seen it? It's probably just a storm. A power failure. I'm sure everything will be back to normal in a few days. I'm not sure anything will ever be back to normal. No, it may not be back to normal. Uh, let's ask about. We'll ask him about Astrid in a minute. What is this town? I don't recall seeing it on any maps. This is Milton. <laughs> Paradise Lost. It's a town of the old world, discarded, left behind. You won't find much hope. I need to find my friend. I'm not sure you'll find any friends here. What about Astrid? I'm looking for my friend. She was with me when my plane crashed. But it looks like she must have made it out alive. Have you seen anyone pass by here? Many people have passed. 
All have gone into the town. I haven't seen any come back. Okay. Go safely, and good luck to you. I hope you find what you're looking for. Methuselah. So, he's... It's very bright out there now. Methuselah is at least able to give us some stuff. There's no more cash. We've got cardboard boxes. We can take these. We can pick up these bars. We've got some supplies here. This, this is good. Um, he's full of the joys of life. Um, but yeah, he, he doesn't see... Loads of people going into town, but not coming back through. That seems a little bit ominous, to be honest. Sure what we can do about it. Six minutes will get me two bits of reclaimed firewood. I'm not sure that's worth it. Tin of sardines. And another. Some peaches. Lots of dog food. Apparently other people don't like eating dog food. Um, also, apparently, we're not that fussy. We will eat the dog food, and we seem to be quite pleased to do so. Salty crackers. 600 calories. We could do a bit of water while we're knocking those back. Uh, there's lots of salty crackers in here. Yeah, we, we could do a lot of water if we're going to be knocking a load of them back. Um, now, some cardboard boxes dashing around here. It's just placed about. Got more bits here. Some more peaches there. Let's open up this microwave. Oh, nothing in there. We were doing so well with the microwaves. All the microwaves had stuff in them, and now they don't. Uh, I'm going to drink that. A little bit of extra water never hurt anybody. Nicely done. Then I don't have to cart that one around. Right, that is empty there. Can't get anything from those. And that's what I was looking for. A storm lantern. Now we'll be able to see our way around the houses at night. Which is going to make life a lot easier for us. It really will. The search register is probably just going to give us cash. Oh no. All the signs said no more cash. The cash is gone. There is no cash. Get out of here, you mooching individuals. No cash in there. Not quite sure why we would all want cash at this point. Beef jerky. Beef jerky. There's lots of food in here. I thought I heard something. But seriously, there is a lot of food here. A lot of energy in the way of these drinks right here as well. There's nothing in that one. Um... Nothing in there. Okay, let's have a look round the back. So, what do we got here? I got nothing in any... Oh, that's just a cardboard box up there. And then down here, we've got a candy bar. We've got another candy bar. We've got... Empty thing of coffee. I've got a tin of coffee right there. That's all good. Got a cardboard box up there. I'm going to leave... I suppose I could, like, take some of these cardboard boxes and do something with it. The slushy machine is unlikely to have anything very useful in it. Those don't have anything in them either. I've, oh, that's a plank there. So I, I wonder what there was something there that was like letting me do something. Uh, that is a water bottle I will take. Nothing else. Right, we've searched everything in here. Thought I heard another noise. But I didn't. I keep hearing things. Like, I'm hearing lots of things. And I'm not sure how many of these things are actual things I'm hearing. And how much of these things are things I'm just imagining in the darkness. Um, it's a little bit disconcerting. Just, just a little bit. Toilet water. I'm going to grab all of that. This is potable water. There. We now have more toilet water. I like drinking toilet water. I just like the fact that we can go along and drink straight out of the toilet. I don't know why. Maybe I'm part dog. But I really do love the fact that we can go and we can drink out of the toilet. It's, it's just awesome. Right, we've got a book there. We've got uh, History of the Collapse. Ooh. History of the Collapse. Let's just read this. In the mid-20-hundreds... The ongoing global economic crisis fueled by continued political instability in the U.S. and Europe contributed to, con 
to the increasing volatility in the financial markets led to the sudden catastrophic collapse of the Canadian and in general the North American banking system. This immediately rendered Canadian currency worthless, triggering superinflation of the US dollar and all trade and economic activity promptly shifted to the Chinese yuan or cryptocurrencies a la Bitcoin. Crippled economically, Canada was brought under financial oversight of the North American Economic Zone, which positioned Canada as a kind of protectorate of a larger US-based economic bloc. From this point onwards, the majority of economic activity became centralized on Canada's already densely urbanized population, with small rural and remote communities as being essentially cut off. Without a local economic lifeline, many of these communities have become dependent on for their continued existence. Most rural or remote communities became hollowed out as people fled to urban areas in search of greater economic stability. So basically everything went pear-shaped. Everything went south. Now, do we have a bedroll? We don't. We don't have a bedroll. We'll take that one. Everything went horribly wrong for the whole of Canada. Uh, well, if if there was an, uh, a, a thing like that, that would have a knock-on effect across the entire planet. There was a major economic downturn, and it affected Canada massively. But it affected. It seems like it would have affected the whole world. And then after that, this next incident has happened, and something else has now happened, and we don't really know. It's something to do with a geomagnetic storm, but we don't quite know what. Let me just go through here and grab this. The wind has stopped howling out there, which I'm assuming is a good thing. So let's go in this locker. I'm, I've got a hatchet. I don't yet have a pry bar. I'm still waiting to find a pry bar. If we can find one of those, it would be very useful. We've got a machete there, some cedar firewood. This is good. Fire barrel. Uh, I've been told that uh, charcoal is not a thing that you get in this one. Accelerant there. Um, we don't need to worry about charcoal at all. It's, it's, it's never going to turn up. Oh, I can't jump. I always forget that I can't jump in this one. Uh, we've got some more peaches there and there. Highway robbery. Hey, bud. Sorry to leave you hanging like this with a storm and power and everything, but it sounds like it's all gone hell out at the Upper Ridge tonight. Car's broken down, a mess. And some rich mainlander won't budge from his truck. Probably thinks we're all a bunch of bandits waiting to rip him off, usual story. Anyway, me and Jason are going to go up there, see if we can talk some sense into him before the storm gets even worse. I'll sort you out in the morning. Thanks, Peter. Okay, something has happened. There's, there's, something has obviously gone down. So, something bad has happened somewhere. Uh, not a lot that we can do about it. We might be able to go and find out what it was about a bit later on, but we won't worry about it now. So we've got a ladder there. Um... I didn't search the cooler. Good job I searched the cooler. There's more food. There's another one down there. Summit soda. Planks. Um, I really want a pry bar. There's a, a number of vehicles that I've left behind that we can't do anything with. I've got a grill there. It's nice that he can have a fire indoors, but whenever I try to do it, it said you can't light a fire indoors. Why does he get special treatment? Right. Catch you later, Methuselah, me old dude. I gotta get going. I gotta hit the road. So we've got a whole load of food, drink, other such stuff. I'm gonna go and search around the back. I am gonna just have a little bit of a look. See if I can see any. I think it was a bird. Thing. I hope it was a bird. Sounded like a wolf, but I'm hoping it was a bird. I'm not going to bust apart these pallets. Pretty sure I can hear birds. There's a stick there. Take that one. Let's just go. I, I do want to search around this property here because this is a very, a very good chance we might find a pry bar kicking around here somewhere. But at the same time, I'm also aware that we could very, very easily run into a wolf around here. I've seen several. Of, when we were stood up on top of the ridge line and looking down into the town, we've seen quite a few wolves, and I've heard them around. 
Right, I've got to stop shaking the camera like this because I'm aware that that does also make life unpleasant for you to be watching this video. So, um, smooth the movements, Frith. Come on. Keep this professional. There's a wolf over there and there's a deer over there. He's looking at a deer, actually. He's going to go... He's stalking that deer. No, he's not. I thought he was stalking the deer, but he doesn't look like he's actually going to go over there. He's not coming this way. That's the important part. So let's go in here. We'll search the glove box. We'll have a look around. Is there anything else in here? Uh, let's just very quickly look in here. Nope. Okay. Leave. Leave, if you will. And get in the back. Just have a look under the floor. Nothing here. Leave again. And look. See, you can't open the trunk. I can open the hood just to show that I've searched the vehicle. And I do like that idea, by the way. That is a really cool idea, doing that. Let me go in here. I've got... Ooh, coal. Okay, we, we, we will take that. And then there's a flare shell. I need a flare gun to be able to use flare shells. To be able to use them more effectively, at least. So we've gotten to here. There's that wolf over there. I can see him walking around. Um, maybe if I go back over here a minute. Just stop there. So we've got to here on the gas station. There's, there isn't anything else for me to see over this way. So we know that something happens. There's a bridge there and there's a bridge there. Someone blocked one of them. We can go out here. There's some buildings there to search. And we haven't searched that building. And then we want to go out there to the church as well. If I go over here. I've got a permanent fire. Where Grey Mother is. So I don't need to worry too much about the fire at the moment. Right, she keeps, she's got the fire stoked. She's got plenty of fuel for her fire. So we don't need to actually concern ourselves with keeping a fire going. All we got to do is keep an eye on things like that wolf over there that's still walking towards me, alarmingly so. I am just going to go and search this way. And then we're going to go towards that house up on the hill. I think we've got just enough time to go and do that before we will head back home and we'll call it quits for today's episode. Um, Alright, it was a quick spin round. This, there's nothing here. Nothing for us here anyway. And if I see anything over that way. Not at the moment. I'm going to take sticks. I'm going to grab all of these. Load of sticks. Nothing else there. There's a stick there. There's another one over here. The woodlot. Now, we've taken out one wolf so far. That doesn't mean we're going to easily take out another wolf. So we're going to have to just be careful as we go along. I've got disinfectant and things like that. I've got painkillers as well. Those will also help us should we need them. Now, up here quick scan around. I see nothing at the moment that is worth worrying about. No. Nope. It's all looking good so far. We've got some sticks on the ground here on the way up through. Let's just scan down that way. Thank you. Right, we're getting a little bit chilly, but overall we're, we're doing alright. I want to get up here. There's nothing around here. Right, there's a, a deer over there. Um, see anything else? Rabbit down there. So there's that property there that we haven't searched. And then that's going back into town to the, looking towards the stuff that we've already searched. Um, I'm going to leave those mushrooms there. Although we may be glad of them at some point. I'm not going to go... I'm not going to actually bother getting them at the moment. Um, we're at the house here. So we can have a scan around. Is there anything at the mailbox? No. Let's go in. Let's go inside. See what it's like in here. How dark is it? It's quite light in here. There's nobody... Right. This is just a very small cabin here. I am wondering if I should break the... Right. Cave... Hidden. We've got a, uh, a book there. We've got Stacy's grape soda. We've got tomato soup. 
Um, cardboard box, a wool scarf, there's something to break apart. Uh, no. Nothing else. This one. Hang on. Let me go over here a minute and then try it. There. I don't trust anyone anymore. People are getting desperate and it's Never only been, been so a few days. In my life. Since the power went out, I'm going to stash some supplies in our special place above town. You know, near where we look at the stars together. We may need them before help gets here. That's the same well, one we well, read before, isn't it? What do we have here? Uh, map. Oh no, it's, that's one there. Right. Hang on a minute. That's the cave that we... We went to that cave, but I couldn't actually find a way to get from that radio tower down to here. I end up having to jump, like, down over the cliff, and I... Uh, um, I can use this. Pretty sure I hurt myself on the jump down. I'm, th there must be a different route to get down. Ooh. A hoodie right there. Now, that'll be useful. We'll take that back home and we'll have a look at that. Uh, the crate. I'm going to break this one up. There's 30 minutes to break this one down. I'll break this one apart, and then we can have a look inside. Oh, there's nothing. What about you? You are 45 minutes and six pieces of timber. 45 minutes is a long time. Uh, but it's not given... Sometimes, I think it might just be the small crates from the fire. Right, might uh, have to drop anything some else. gear. Right, might have to drop some gear, yeah. Um, well, let's start off by eating a tin of dog food, shall we? Um, oh, I went and left the tin opener behind, didn't I? I think if I try to open it without the tin opener, don't I lose stuff? I haven't lost anything. All right, well, that's good. Uh, dog food. Let's go with some more dog food. Dog food is good eating. I like the dog food. There we go. I'm not sure if I would actually enjoy dog food in real life. I need to drop something. All right, all right. No need to complain. He, he does this a lot, though. He, he does do this whole complaining thing quite a lot. He takes, he takes the complaining very seriously, doesn't he? Let's have some peaches. We'll have a tin of peaches to wash down the dog food. And then we can be on our merry. So what have we got at the moment? We are middle of the day. We'll come on out here. Heavy wool coat designed for seafaring types. Not the warmest coat out there. But it does help for something. Town is that way. We came from that way. We've searched some of these properties. And then we've got more out over here. There's a... There's the school playing field up there. There's the bridge down that way. We have run round that area a little bit. Not a lot, but we have been there. We haven't been down here and explored this uh, ruin down here yet. We've been nearby, but I don't think we actually came down around this property yet. There's uh, no opening the door. I was just wondering if maybe there'd be a, um, a fair pry bar on the floor. Doesn't appear to be. Right. Disappointed with the lack of pry bar so far, but we do have a storm lantern that might prove useful. We can come over this way. We've killed a wolf that was here. We do know that there is um, more wolves around. Uh, we're here at the moment. There's three houses down that way. And then we've got that bit up there. And we've also got this here. I'm thinking that we try and go up the road up that way in a bit. But we'll do that in our next episode. What I'd like to do now is I'd like to go back to the house with the Grey Mother. And we'll rest there. Wolf. I can hear a wolf. Where is that wolf? I was a bit nervous about wolves. They make me twitchy. Mainly because of their habit of trying to eat me. That's not that's not a good habit. And I see no sign of any wolves at the moment. There is the bridge over there that we do want to go and look through. So that is that one right there. Um, we want to go to St. Christopher's Church. And we also want to go over there. We've searched the gas supply station. We've been up now to that house up there. There's a few houses across the river to go and look at, and we also want to go back to that cave that we've seen previously and try to explore that one as well. I think we can go up that way. 
sure how we get to the radio mast up through there, but we will go back up that way and we'll have a look in our next episode. But anyway, we're not doing that today. This is all we got time for today. So if you've enjoyed this episode, then please hit down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye and see you later.